Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I'll be showing you Sugar Fort as well as Mandoka Falls. So I can't wait to share this vlog with all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. Mantoka. Mantoka. Mantoka waterfalls and the Shigar Fort. So can we show you all of this? Guys, we are in Shigar right now. We are headed to the fort. We're gonna see a waterfall. Lots and lots to show you guys today. The sign behind me is very long. I'm gonna try my best to capture it, but it's quite long, but I'll do my best. We're in Shigar. Right behind me is the Sarfaranga cold desert. This is a cold desert in this area. It is slightly chilly out here. You could feel the chill in the air. All of the cities that I'm showing you here have a 90% literacy rate. So any of you guys wondering that do they speak English? Yes, they do and very well. So you will have no problems here in communicating with someone highly highly recommend you guys pay a visit to pakistan see all of these beautiful cities for yourselves and see what it has to offer take this much in that we are three women traveling here all by ourselves it has been extremely safe everyone is so respectful even when you want to go take a picture they will make way for you and get everybody out of the way for you so respectful so much decency out here and again all of you guys wondering that do they speak english yes they do for all of you who want um there will be, you will have no problems communicating with anyone here in english most of the people here the majority of the people do speak english there is a 90 percent literacy in the way so keep that in mind definitely make pakistan a must visit for you guys see all of this beauty for yourselves When you enter this fort, uh, the tickets are 500 rupees per person and also you do have to register your name and your phone number and all that information. So just keep that in mind. When you do purchase your ticket, they do give you a guide. Our guide is right over here. He will be showing us around the fort. So just keep a couple of things in mind. Uh, again, uh, it's 500 rupees per person to enter the fort. Uh, you do have to register your name, your phone number, and all that information when you come inside. And of course, you get a guide. And this is our guide. What is your name? Siraj. Siraj? Yeah. This is Siraj, guys. <laughs> फोंग बल्कि जबान में चट्टान कहते हैं और घर पैलेस कहते हैं इन चट्टान के ऊपर बना हुआ पैलेस इस चट्टान के ऊपर बनाया था इसको फोंगर कहने का ये मेन रीजन है ये 1634 में यहां के एक राजा थे राजा हसन खान अमाजा उसने अपने लिए बनवाया था तकरीबन 400 साल पुराना है फिर बाद में वक्त गुजरने के साथ-साथ इसी कंडीशन खराब हो रही थी तो हमारे जो राजा हैं राजा आजम खान अभी मेन गेट के सामने रहते रॉयल फैमिलीज अभी प्रेजेंट डे हां अभी राजा आजम खान वो अफगानिस्तान के हेल्थ मिनिस्टर हैं पॉलिटिक्स में उन्होंने इसको डोनेट कर दिया थी पर अभी तक ही जस्ट टोल्ड अस समथिंग एक्सट्रीमली इंटरेस्टिंग द किंग रूम इज राइट अप देयर द फर्स्ट वन दैट यू सी अप देयर बट यू कैन आल्सो कम एंड स्टे हियर फॉर योरसेल्फ so if you want to rent out a room here, you can also do that. And the royal family that owns this is, uh, lives right across the street from here. The average rate to stay here for a room cost is between 27,000 and 48,000 rupees. And they do have like a pickup service from the airport that picks you up and you can come and stay here and stay at the king's room, which is right there. Pakistan really has the most fragrant roses I have ever smelled. Let me see. They smell amazing, amazing. Guys, he's explaining this to us. This is called the Chinar Street, uh, Chinar Street. I can't pronounce that, there we go. Chinar Tree. 
and every three years or so it will catch on fire and it'll make it hollow just like this look at this so you can literally go inside this tree check that out it's completely hollow inside and this tree itself is 400 years old Okay, I, I'm inside a chunar tree, which is hollow inside. This is the inside. Every how many years? This tree, 300 years. 300 years. Oh, 300 years. Sorry. It catches fire on its own and <laughs> becomes and I hollow. I go inside, guys, to explain it to you. all the inside i made her go inside in case there are snakes or anything but there's nothing in there so when you guys are visiting here definitely go inside see how much she loves me she wanted me to die i told her as long as i have a ride back home because this road is very tricky again the fort is called sugar fort so when you guys come here definitely use the guide he's so informative gives so much information again the tree behind me is a chinar which is a family of a maple tree and it's 400 years old and he's saying every 300 years or so it catches on fire all by itself and then he told me there's a chemical inside the tree that causes it to go on fire and then the inside of it gets hollow and i made mogambi inside <laughs> i showed you the inside actually she showed you inside what it looks like it's all hollow you can go inside of it very safe to go inside i've just asked him about the chemical that makes what it cause, go on fire it's phosphorus and that's what causes it to go on fire okay let's go inside it is a little bit of a steep stairway but let's go up the stairway this should be interesting Look at that. And it leads you right out into the fort. This river. And the second one is Hinduism called Ashoka. And third one is Sufism. There is two doors, sun and one flowers. Uh, then Buddhism, sun, lotus. The last one is pyramid. So these are all different religion yeah. symbols. Thank you. Guys, this is their mosque. Look at the mosque. And the icing on the cake, the rooftop. Look at the view from here. And the breeze is amazing. He's saying that even the locals right now, even though this is an older fort, even the locals, their kitchens look exactly like this. Look at these gorgeous chairs. And they do cook on a chimney. This is so pretty. Guys, keep one thing in mind when you guys are out here. Once you're done with the tour, tip the guide. They're so informative. They're so sweet. They take pictures. They show you certain things that you, as a normal person visiting here, wouldn't know. They tell you the angles to take your pictures properly. So definitely give them a tip and appreciate their services. Once you come out from the fort, this is your view. Okay, guys, just got done with the sugar fort and now enjoying a cold coke right by the water. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this, the sound of these waves. And this is a nice, nice cold coke. It is quite hot because you're going up and down the stairs and stuff. So it does get hot, but enjoying a nice coke. My sister, the daredevil, is going to go paragliding. Check this out, guys. As you guys can see right behind me there is a spot where you can go paragliding 
my sister the daredevil in our family is going there her is the one with the yellow shoe i'll add more of her video and then later i think she's coming down right now let me show you this is her There, you see her <laughs> paraglide just came down. Uh, if you guys want to know where this is, right where I took where it said that huge sign, there's a long um, sign. There's a dirt road on the left-hand side. You make a left turn. There's a police officer station at the bottom. You can ask them as well and they'll guide you how to get to this paragliding spot because it, it is a little bit away from the main street. It is actually on a little dirt road and it takes you straight in. When she comes down, I will ask her the cost of it. But it's a lot of fun they have atvs here they have dirt bikes they are paragliding that's hers right there so a lot of fun if you're interested in that if you are a daredevil come and try it out here the paragliding there she comes right over there okay guys i told you i would oh it's a bumpy road so excuse my voice um but i told you i would tell you the cost of the paragliding it is twelve thousand dollars uh, sorry oh, correction twelve thousand rupees which you guys can convert into the dollar uh, into dollars but it is twelve thousand rupees and the ride is about maybe i would say five to seven minutes long so it's not very long but she said that it was excellent so if you guys are into that daredevil stunt thingies you can come here for dirt bikes atvs and the paragliding so again twelve thousand for that Guys, look at the fruits that they're selling. <laughs> we are on our way to Mandoka Falls and there's a cute little place that's offering fresh pakora which are fritters and chai so we're gonna stop by and have that it's this is the place this is the place guys look at this they're making chai and pakora and look at this guys how cute look at this this is where they're cooking it America. He's making us fresh fritters right now, which is potatoes. Look at this. This is on the way to Mandoka Falls. There's so many people driving by, so many tour buses. There's a cute little spot right here that offers tea and fritters, which is pakora. So they're making them fresh right now for us. And we're gonna go sit it's like a tree house area and we're gonna go sit over there and eat them so let's go look at this place how totally adorable is this and they have their little cafe right over here are sitting here this is such a cute little place that was just off the street even when you're driving up to mandoka falls i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly but when you're driving up don't be surprised if you see kids waving at you you'll see food vendors coming up to you directly to your car 
take it all in it's so super cute the kids get so excited and they actually say hi and they wave to you off the street and they get so excited when you wave back so keep that in mind if you're visiting these areas i know it's surprising for some people when people are doing that let these vendors come up to you let them like they're super friendly they mean no harm they're just trying to make a earning and you can buy apricots the sweetest apricots ever you can buy cherries from them um they had another fruit i'm not sure what the name of it is we have it in our car but i will show you but take advantage of that when they come up to you say hi to the kids it's so super cute they come up to you and they want to say hi and they want to see what you're all about they're so curious when you do come here, experience the street vendors, the street cafes that are on the road. They're so much fun. They have fresh food. It's delicious. We have tried so many different ones and knock on wood, haven't gotten sick. So they're very hygienic. They're fried, fresh, hot, piping hot. And so those are completely fine to eat. So try these street vendors who are around here. So try these little street cafes when you're driving down these streets. Guys, look at this fresh chop. Look at your patty. Garam pani me ek patty dal ke. Nahi na. Nahi banana sa titi bag. Yeah, वैसे ही तो है. हाँ, but तुम कोक रहो. Right behind me is the Mantoka waterfall. You can see it for yourself. Look at that. You can feel the little drizzle from it, or the mist from the waterfall coming onto you. Look at that behind me. It's absolutely beautiful. It's windy though, and the mist comes because of the wind. It is super windy, and it's a little bit of a drive, but definitely worth the view. Look at that. This is the Man Mantoka waterfall. I hope I pronounced that correctly. To enter the Mandoka waterfall, uh, the ticket prices are about 200 rupees per person. So just keep that in mind. There is parking available, but the ticket to enter it is 200 rupees per person. Quickly, just showing you guys the tickets. This is what you have to purchase to go inside. Check out this biryani, guys. All three of us are having chicken biryani, and there's more stuff coming. Yes. Look at this biryani. It looks delicious. Let me try it for you. Look at their spoon. <laughs> Let's try this. Mm. Delicious. I'm going to go enjoy my food. I will talk to you guys later. Show that. Those are gizzards. Mm -hmm. And this is chicken skewers. And mango. Look at our food. This is so good. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this part of our trip. There's many more parts coming up. So in order for you to not miss any of them, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. Remember, always believe in yourself, love yourself, and take care of yourself. Until next time, I'll see you back in Hunza. Bye, guys.